So I'm Richard Sever. Um, I'm co-founder of the uh, preprint service BioArchive and MedArchive, and I'm uh, assistant director of Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory Press at Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory. Well, I think it's I think it's important because we know that um, content resides in a number of different places with different functionalities across the web, and students need to be able to navigate between these different locations and have a um, a common experience so that they can integrate them in their learning. Um, so any initiative that, that 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 increases interoperability ensures that people have a common experience and facilitates moving between these necessarily distinct locations online um, seems like a good idea to me. So we um, we know we already know that students are using our content um, for journal clubs and also for kind of undergraduate learning bioarchive preprints are appearing in, in curricula that lecturers are giving their students. So you know we and, and we're already integrating um, discussion from elsewhere on the web around bioarchive. So we're kind of really we've always been interested in this notion of content about content. And I think that's where um, this this kind of like social learning fits. So, you know, any, any initiative that is about um, making uh, better accessibility and better interoperability of content about content is going to be of, of interest to us. Well, we already have a dashboard on BioArchive, where, which, um, which launches and allows readers to um, discover and, um, and read this content about content, uh, content coming in from a variety of sources that has discussions and evaluations of papers. Now, that's currently um, mainly for expert readers, um, other researchers, but you can imagine that if more and more students um, are, are reading papers in this way, that such a dashboard could also integrate um, educational resources pointing to the content so that you would you would be pointed to and be able to discover not only what other researchers are saying, but what kind of teaching uh, uh, groups are saying about the content. Well, I think I would say, I mean, you just just think about how the web has operated since its inception. You know, you whatever you have on your website, it is only going to be one of many websites that you, your users are, are visiting. Um, and if you can have a common experience, if there's if there's an easy way to move between these different sites and they're interoperable, then um, then then your users are, are, are going to are going to like coming to you because it's because it makes sense to them. Um, so to me, it seems like a, a natural extension of, of the way the web should work. Um, and we already have a variety of web standards. You know, everybody uses HTML, and this just seems like a natural extension of that to, to provide a common experience and a better user experience across content that resides in a whole bunch of different buckets that are owned by a whole bunch of different people.